In this video we're going to be taking a look at how to create different variations and attributes for WooCommerce. With this you can create different flavors, sizes, and different ways of displaying the same product. I'll be showing you how to create different images for each one, add different stock for each different variation, and how to fix some annoying things like them popping up on the additional information when you don't want them there, and generally as a beginner how to create the variations on WooCommerce. Once you've installed WooCommerce and you've installed all the setup wizard, we can then go down and find the product section. Here you can find all your products, add new products, categories, tags, or attributes. The first thing that we're gonna do is go to add new products. So in this case, we want to add a different type of protein powder and all the different variations of that particular protein powder. Here I have all the individual different flavors and images that I want to add. This is going to be an overall product. So if it's going to have attributes and different variations, then rather than putting the vanilla powder flavor, we're going to just put simply whey powder. When the user clicks on this product, they're gonna take into all the variations of where they can choose the variation that they want. So I'm not going to add the flavor or particular version in this product. First, we're gonna add the main description. This part comes at the bottom under description, and it's normally where you'd have the main description. So pretty much all the information that you need. We can also add a short description at the bottom. This is going to be the part that appears at the top underneath the description title. This can be found on the product short description. As you can see, they're now in the correct area. So we have the title, a short description, and a longer description underneath. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and add some product images, add the right categories and tags, and I'll be right back with you in just a minute. Now with our main product image added, our tags added, and our categories, we can now move down to price. But before we go to price, we first need to change this to a variable product. That means that it's gonna vary between different products. Choose whether you want to use the management system. This will also allow you to use the management system per individual product, but as default, this is going to show as every product. So until we add the variation, this is gonna be a quantity of one for however many products that we have. So if you have 10 different variations, it's only gonna have quantity of one currently before we change that. This will be one of the mistakes that people first make when they first change this, and it shows that there is no products, although you've got a number of them already added in the quantity. So for instance, if I have a quantity of three, but I have 10 products, that will show me that I won't have any stock because currently we only have three, but we have 10 products. So we don't have enough quantity for the products. We're going to change that to an individual management system in just a minute. Now is where we come down to the attribute section. The attribute name is what the different variation is going to be. For instance, we're gonna be using flavor. However, at the same time, you could also use size if you have small, medium, large, and extra large, for instance. Think about this as the variation title. Now time to add the different variations. In my case, it's going to be the flavor names. So I'm gonna add in all of the flavor names making sure to add this symbol between each flavor. That way, both my two different flavors are gonna come as two different attributes and two different variants with this symbol in the middle. So all my different attributes have been added with this little symbol right in the middle to separate them all. And this is gonna be all of my different variations. Just a side note here, we're going to first save the attributes. And I just wanna point out that currently we have visible on the product page, enabled. Now, if that's enabled, if we go to preview the product, we're going to find that it comes under the additional information. Now, if you don't want it to show in the additional information and you simply want it for variants, we can simply uncheck this visible on the product page, save. And now if we go ahead to preview the product, it's no longer in the additional information. Now that we've added our attributes, we can now come down to variations, a tab that was created once we chose the product data to be a variable product. This has been made super easy because now that we have the attributes, we can actually go ahead and create variations by clicking the generate variations. This will take all of our attributes and create them as different variations. If you didn't want to add all of the attributes that you've added to your attributes section, you can also add manually to control which ones you're adding. As we want all of them, I'm gonna go ahead and click on generate variations to all of them. You can now see that we have a different selection for every single flavor or whatever your attribute choice was. For instance, if this was sizes, this would now show small, large, extra large, and any other sizes that you've added. Now, if you've forgotten one or you need to add an attribute, you can now also go to add manually and add that attribute to this list without having to redo the whole thing. So let's go ahead and view what the product looks like now. So this is a problem you're most likely gonna get when you first do this. It'll say that this product is currently out of stock and unavailable. Although in your inventory, you have a quantity there. Now the reason is because currently this is a quantity of all of your variable products. So we have three, but we have 12 different products. And to explain that more simply, to have one quantity of each in this way, we would have to have at least 12 in our inventory to cover one for each flavor. 
What we can actually do is click on the individual variation. Here we can go ahead and check manage stock and this will manage its individual stock. But before we do that, let's add a price. You can add an individual price by clicking on the product and going to price. But if they're all the same, we can also go to add price here. This is going to save some time because this is going to add the price to all of our variations. Now if I click on it, you're going to see that it's got a regular price here. And if you wanted to change your individual price, you can do so by changing it on this section for this particular variation. Now back to the stock management. Let's go ahead and check manage stock. And I'm going to add a stock for this individual product. So let's say we have 10. We can now go through our entire list and add the stock for each product or variation. Once you've made changes to your management stock for each of your variations, make sure to click save afterwards, otherwise you're going to lose your progress. Now if we scroll up and go to preview the product, you're going to find that suddenly they're all in stock. And you can find all of your variations here on the drop down list. Now let's make this a little better and add different images for each of your variations. Again to do this we're going to come to the product data area and then down to variations. We're going to click on each variation and we can now click on this image to add all the different images for the different variations. And with the last one added to the list, just make sure to go ahead down to save changes again. Now when you choose a flavor, it's also going to come up with the correct image for it too. However, let's go one step further and add the same product images to the gallery. So they will also display underneath the main image and they give a better indication to your different sizes, flavors or different attributes. For this, I'm going to go to the product gallery and simply choose all of the images that you just uploaded, apart from the main one because that's already there. Then go ahead and add to gallery. As you can see, we now have the different flavors underneath. Not only that, but when you choose the particular flavor from the flavor list, it's also going to highlight it from the gallery, as you can see there. As you can see, we left this so our variation is on choose an option, so it's not one particular option already as default when you first come onto the page. However, to change that, you can come down to your variation section and then add a default form value. So if I wanted banana cream to be the first one to come up on the list, I can select it right there. Or if you wanted it to be a no choice, just leave it as no default and it's going to come up with the variation name. So if you have size, it's going to say no default size, meaning that they can't add anything to the cart until they actually go ahead and choose the different variation. So guys, I hope that's helped you setting up your WooCommerce store. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more guides like this. And of course, check out our new videos popping up on the screen right now.